the studio. Had to stop along the way, but that's going to be gone in 10 minutes or so. At least we got to start. Finding the right scene when you're out on location is the one part that is completely intuition. You have to just go out there and you're walking around and you're just taking it all in and it's happening all the way around you, 360 degrees everywhere you look. And try to listen to that quiet voice in the back of your head that will say, this is, this is what you want to focus on. Traces of the sunrise. That was a pretty sunrise. And we've got it. We've got a sky that happened about 25, 30 minutes ago. That's all turned blue. We have it when it was changing this morning. right as it was all turning into daylight. The most stable part of our landscape this morning is this tree line. It's not going to change in the next 30 minutes, whereas everything else is. So, trick to painting on sight for me is knowing how to choose between what to work on and to get those things that are changing quickly, give them top priority, get them put down on the canvas, and then get the other things as they happen. It's a chronicle of time, the best part about painting on site. Painting is also the best way to describe <coughs> a not only a place, but a time of day or an experience, like somebody came back from a trip and says they saw a beautiful sunset. You, you really, if you've ever tried to photograph a sunset or photograph a, a place, you know that it, you really just don't get, that it's, it does, never comes out the way you want it to. It's never quite descriptive enough. Painting comes closer to that than anything else. I have seen six eight-foot alligators laying right up here where we're standing right now. And they love it when people just come up and stand still. Like someone painting a picture. <laughs> because then there's plenty of time to sneak up. The value that I see in it working from photographs is that it, it uh, charge your memory and you remember what it was about the landscape that inspired you and then that's what you paint. A lot of times your eye kind of plays tricks on you. It goes up and then it goes back. So this goes up and then it goes back. See what we think we see. We always have our own ideas about it. 
Um, I'm not trying to exactly recreate nature, but I have found that the closer that I stay to nature, the better the painting is. It's just a beautiful area. I just uh, had no idea it was here. So I came out here uh, for the first time and just fell in love with it. And, it's, and it goes on for miles and miles. It's beautiful at sunrise. It's beautiful at sunset. You can see all the way to the horizon, almost everywhere you look around here. It's always good to walk around, try to find some other place. Um, kind of scout things out before beforehand because a lot of times when you're coming out, like this morning, when we left the house, it was dark. And as you're driving out, a lot of times you don't quite know where to go, where to set up. But if you've been here before and you know that, say, this trail had this right up here, I've never been down. We could walk out there. And who knows, maybe there's a really nice vista right off the point that you could go to the next time you come out. This hangs here. This little clip is my own invention. You can hang a wet pallet on it. Got your canvas. That's it.